Welcome back. Book Templar Sprawl. Ah, uh, Kajito Agro 7. Let's see. The network of water processing plants underneath the city is vast, but built on the back of an ancient infrastructure uh, predating the formation of the sprawl as we know it. It fails, and fails often, forcing the Apopas to rely on packaged water rations from the Junta. It's this neglect that has created a technological dead zone within the sprawl, one which can be abused. The Junta closely monitors and controls all air traffic, but somewhere down here will be the only viable place where Father can hijack some sort of transport. All right, if you remember, we got good. We got fancy. Oh God! My <laughs> ledge grabbed so very fast and well, right there. Ooh, finally. Got hiding down here. Big boy ammo. What's this? Ah, codex. Nice. Yeah, let's have it go this way. Witness. Why is the music camping up already? I just got here. Oh! Most of my armor has already disappeared within the first two enemies. That's good to know. Central processing nexus. There is a runoff tunnel that will lead you to one of the only dead zones in the spool. What's down there? I'll be Ammo? Co opt the transport undetected. Oh, that looks like death down there. Hold on, let me go down here and grab this. Looks like a bunch of shotgun shells. Nice. I think I already mentioned this. This game reminds me of like. A combination of a bunch of games. You got like you got the Titanfall, you got the you got the Mirror's Edge, mostly Mirror's Edge really. Especially with the dystopian like cyberpunk future. Where the mega corpse rule us all. If anything, it reminds me of like what's it what's that called? Was it Eon Flux? What's the name of that anime? Big armor. I'm not missing anything down there, am I? This place looks like a, looks like a lot of one-way trips, to be honest with y'all. Is that a switch? Gotcha. Oh god. <laughs> Talk about being a dead eye. <laughs> Hold on now. Let me go grab that adrenaline, though. For real, for real. Ooh, another codex. Man. This is where a little bit of a puzzle element comes into play. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to shoot that? No. Ah, huh, wait. Um. Mm. Am I supposed to get inside that box? Yeah, it looks like I am supposed to get inside that box. Am I doing it wrong? Hold on. Am I supposed to climb that pipe somehow? There's a grate underneath. I'm supposed to get off top. I'm supposed to get higher than it. Right? Oh! Didn't realize that was a hole. Somehow I knew. Alright, I gotta go down there. goes on my armor. This battleground's a little bit different than what I'm used to. Oh, God. I forgot. You get, like... I 
Dang it, there's a lip there. I can do this. There we go. But did I want to come up here? Hold on, wait a minute. Is this me? Did I just backtrack? Oh yeah, the doors are opening. I was already up there, now I'm down here. I backtracked on accident. Oh, no. This place opened up a bit. And now there's water? Something tells me the water's no good. Oh, that water's actually shallow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I wonder if that will come into play later. You know what I mean? Does that stop the invisible boys from being visible? This. Alright, so we definitely need to open up this. Excellent. Ocular scan required. I gotta go steal people's heads. Central processing is in lockdown. I've located two squad captains requesting immediate evac. Their cyberware protocols match those on these locks. You'll need to find them. We we'll need their optics to unlock this door. I gotta go remove some <laughs> some upper class dudes' heads. I gotta go move, remove boss guy heads. That's good. That's not good. Aim for the grenades. Seven. They're weak to explosives. Yeah, this is bad. Where are the grenades? When does he shoot their grenades? grenade launcher. That, that's useful. I'm gonna leave those adrenalines there, though. I notice I'm not to pick them up even though my adrenaline's full. Alright. I'm assuming I'm gonna save this for them, for the mechs. Because taking them out, shooting their grenades, I mean, they do have an indicator, I just realized that. They do that little, like, that dwarf crouch. They go like, hmm, before they fire their grenade. So they ain't so bad. They do a decent amount of damage, though. But they also drop a decent amount of health, so it kind of evens out. Too bad he wasn't the dude with the head. At first I was intimidated. I was like, oh man, is this going to be the new wall? Is this going to be the new wall I have to deal with? Then I li actually listened to the guy this time. He was like, shoot their grenades. And I was like, because I was shooting them with bullets and noticed that they did nothing. So, learned that lesson. Hello? That's a new boss. Oh god. I didn't think I'd have to fight regular guys while fighting these dudes. Alright, alright, let's do this. You die. Thank you. Alright, I already hit him with one grenade. Let's just... There you go. They ain't so bad. Just use a grenade launcher on them. Now you could do the SMG thing to get some free kills for the bullets if you don't have any um, uh, grenade launcher. But, they just recently introduced that you're going to be fighting them at the same time as fighting regular dudes. Which, I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I didn't. And I, I handled it okay. Although, to be fair, he was the only ranged character. It was a dog and two shield dudes who were trying to bash me. Trying to bash my butt as well as these nuts. Oh, 
Well, well, well. Me. <laughs> Don't mind me. Where are you guys going? I'm not resisting, I'm just having a little conversation. Well, that sucked. on the front. <laughs> I guess, wait a minute, did I tell him I'm not resisting? I just realized I, that's exactly what I'm doing, I am resisting. Oh god! Alright, hold on, let's talk about this buddy boy. Do the charge tag, do it. Gotcha. Alright. Big and beautiful, do you mind? I'm trying, but I need more adrenaline. him with the um uh, grenade launcher. Do it! Do it! Those guys, those guys are basically just the uh, adrenaline fodder at this point. Ooh. Who's here? God bless it. Them out, cut them out. They just introduced them and now they're everywhere. <laughs> now they're like the one enemy on the battlefield. My bad. Oh, you know what? I st it stunned you. <laughs> Good enough. Hey, that shotgun actually does damage to them. It'd be different if they shot their grenades more often, you know what I mean? Plus side, they're kind of dumb. They do a decent amount of damage. They drop a decent amount of supplies. They're really... Now that I think about it, they're just high damage bullet sponges. Other than that, they're fairly easy. If I get a bigger grenade launcher later on, they won't even be a problem. What? Oh, you ladies. I forgot about y'all. <laughs> Grenades. Is the dude's head? Kinda need that. Open. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Okay. It just goes up and down on its own for some reason. That's fine. He's right out here. Am I supposed to be out here? Decapitation. That's not what I had in mind. Make your way back to Central mm, Those boss dudes are tough. I'm gonna have to start fighting them now too. Cause he took two shotgun shells. 
I don't like that. Ooh. Get a look at the sprawl. Kind of reminds me of Novalis, but like during the daytime, but it stopped raining. You know what I mean? This is what I imagine it would look like. All the neon signs are off. Everything's got sort of like this grungy, murky look to it because it const it's constantly raining. And then, like, when the sun comes out and it all dries up, it makes, like, stuff starts to grow. You know what I mean? And you have to scrub it. Anywho. It's all right. What's that? Is that a boat down there? There is. There's a bunch of boats down there. It's a boat lane. There's a big cargo ship over there. What was that? Got like a power up of some kind. I didn't have time to read it. I was too distracted by the background. Alright, that's one head. This level already feels more extensive than any previous level. Like, definitely bigger. still say I do wish adrenaline dropped a little bit more often and and or that the power-ups gave a bit more adrenaline a combination of those two things I will say this though, once you get used to the enemies, it's, they're not so bad. They still do a lot of damage to you, but they drop the the regular health drop that an enemy drops is decent, decently sized. I think it's a little bit bigger than the random health drops that are around the map that are the little green ones. There you go. Please provide secondary retinal scan. Well, that's one way of guessing their optics. <laughs> I like how the boss heads are magnetized. That's, that's a nice little convenient feature. Just in case your boss dies while well, you need to unlock a door. You can be like, you know what? I got his head. Or his eyeballs. I might as well. He'd want me to go in there even, even though he is dead. You know what I mean? Well, that's different. It makes me concerned, I guess. Just because they gave me the exact same drops in the exact same arena, but the robot dude wasn't here this time. Also, I like how he just got introduced and I ended up fighting like six of them. Just toast his goats, am I right? I am seven. Y'all should be afraid of me. Because I just got done eating nine. Oh? Boat boys? Ride this boat. I'll take you as close as I can to the next dock. We're going for a boat ride, brother man? Going. It's kind of a small boat. I mean, comparatively speaking, the usual combat arenas that I have. It's kind of cool, though. combination of things, isn't it? Like Unique yet so basic it is easy to imagine. Like usually dystopian futures are so big and grandiose and colorful that they're larger than life and you're like, yeah, that would be awesome. But this this could be tomorrow, you know what I mean? Whoa, why do you have extra health? Okay. 
doing okay. Not great, but okay. I think that worked out pretty well, actually. Am I supposed to shoot those things? Like... Data core. Are the elevators active now? Whoa. Okay. I'm here now. <laughs> hey. Gotcha. <laughs> Clean kills. Agent. Can I pick these up? That'd be nice. I understand why I can't. And also, the game style and gameplay style that I'm going through wouldn't match it. Let me kite the dog over here. There you go. Slip him. Slap him. There's a path leading this way. I kind of want to take it because it's off the beaten path. Ooh, codex. Another boat. It's over here. Big boy armor and grenade launcher around. Nice. Oh, ah, barbed wire. Oh, it ate one of my armors. That's nice. Gotta take the tinier boat. Gotta take the itty bitty boat. That doesn't even make any sense. Looks like the driver's seat is occupied by a barrel. Oh. This kind of reminds me of Half Life right here. Scrap metal <laughs> bridges. hit me. I just turned that dude to liquid. See what I mean? Your health bar is either full or you die instantly. What? It happened again. I guess I'm not moving enough. Let's let's try this differently. Instead of tra trapping ourselves up there. Okay. My way over here, the magic dance of time. I 
grab the big boy armor that you left here for me. Oh, he died. Wait for it. Fine. Actually, a decent amount of grenades on the round battlefield. Yeah, look at that. One thing this game does, if you don't just shoot crazily, it gives you plenty of ammo. But if you if you shoot like you don't have any common sense, you probably be rough, be rough on you. It's almost a combination of a shooter and a puzzle game because you got like you got to manage the ammo and you got to manage your adrenaline because your adrenaline is your bread and butter. Without your slow mo, getting the headshots and killing them quickly. Okay, I think I'm supposed to do this. Okay. Alright, <laughs> I just slowed myself down. I don't like that. Because the natural flow of it wanted me to go faster and to jump further. So that's a little bit counterintuitive. I was gonna say, this part reminds me of Mirror Edge even more, but I don't think it was implemented well to be intuitively given to the flow. Cause but yeah, you, you had to slow yourself down to hit that middle one. And also, if you went full speed, you went too fast, so you didn't go far enough. That's just the tiny criticism of level design. That's that's almost neg negligible. But still, like, it happened to be a few times. And when it comes to movement in the game, I haven't had any real problems with it. But when it comes to leaping like a freak and moving around the battlefield, and learning where I'm supposed to go. Learning where I'm supposed to go, that's a bit different. Actually, like, I, I would say that in the beginning, when I first started playing, it was a bit... It was a bit something. It was a bit much. It took me a second to get it. Locking me in. how well I did, because they ate up only a little bit of uh, armor. Yeah. Ooh. The water effects, bro. Alright. You mosey on into town. Sierra, India, X-Ray. I keep hearing this in their battle net. What does it mean? Does it mean we're gonna win? Full variety, the full sin. Let <laughs> me just slide my way to freedom. Uh, boss man. Oh, the water's not that. Wait, why can't I jump out of it? Oh my God, am I gonna? Is this a boss fight?
What do you mean? Oh, that fist punch hurts me. I have to dodge that. I didn't know that. I told him you were still alive. Well, now I know. Man, he drops a bunch of stuff. You think you can run from me, <laughs> yes, I am choosing to run from you. You're kind of a mean douche. I could use more ammo, honestly. Oh, hey, all his body parts drop ammo. Never mind. I was always a better soldier. You were just a new toy. Where are you? More ammo, honestly, though. <laughs> well, it happened. What's that? I didn't know the game had bosses, but I didn't know they were beatable. I got a little lucky there, I figured it out. Hello, an SMG. Actually, I'm surprised I have ammo left at all, but hey. Hey, I think that's the end of episode one. Efficiency 95%, dang. That's, a that's an efficient mama. Ah, the beginning of episode two. We'll start that next time, in the next episode. Thank you all, Ewok Templar. We're going through Sprawl. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. We'll see you in the next one. Y'all take it easy. I gotta go remove some some upper class dudes' heads. I gotta go move, remove boss guy heads. That's good. That's not good. Aim for the grenades. Seven. They're weak to explosives. Yeah, this is bad. For the grenades. <laughs> 